I'm supposed to hold me down, but you're holding me back, and that's a sound. Me not calling you back. Hey yo, everybody, what's poppin'? I feel like I haven't been on here in a hot second, and so many things have been freaking happening this past week that my brain is absolutely fried at this point. Ben's birthday was on Tuesday of this week, but we celebrated on Saturday, and let me tell you, that was a fun, great time. We had a group together at Jamie's place, and then we went out to the club after because we got a table, and you know, four bottles later, the night was done. And then on Tuesday, Ben had a birthday dinner, and Monday was the Bachelorette finale. Oh my God, unpopular opinion. But when Kayla went after Greg in the after -os, I did not agree with that at all. Yes, she should have like said what she thought, but I feel like homegirl like came out full on attack mode instead of just understanding what he had to say. So wasn't a fan of Caitlyn after that. Is that her name right? Katie? Katie, not Caitlyn. Gosh, Candace. Only watched a whole season of her. Go, shithead. But, you know, that's what I thought. And now it's Thursday. Yesterday I had so much to do, like, on brand deals and everything. Even today I have so much stuff to do. I wasn't expecting to film today. I was gonna film tomorrow. I was like, why not bring you guys along on my hectic day with me? It is 12.45. It's already been freaking hectic. I woke up this morning, left my boyfriend's, had therapy phone call on my way home. Got home, did emails, took some Instagram brand deal stories, sent those in. I'm taking a video for this phone case that I actually got. It's Mason de Sabre. I'm obsessed with their phone cases. They sent me a couple before and they sent me another one. So I'm doing an IG reel with that. And just there is so much going on. I have another brand deal I have to take today. I'm returning clothes from the brand deal I took yesterday. Like my brain is absolutely freaking fried at the moment. I don't even know how to function. I'm just tired as hell. I have to have anxiety over it. So right now I'm headed to H&M. The brand deal that I did yesterday, I try to make it like a Y2K vibe. So I went to H&M and got like some low rise pants and this little crop top, super duper cute. The picture will be posted soon. So make sure you guys keep a lookout for it. And so I would never wear low rise pants normally. You know, your girl isn't toned enough for that shit. I am high rise all the way, unless it's these baggy ones I have. I got them from Walmart actually, and I cut the knees. But other than that, your girl cannot wear freaking low rise pants. The closest H&M is actually downtown. So I'm headed to downtown before traffic gets insane because it's going to. Oh, that's very tight. That's what she said. <laughs> it always freaks me out. Like, I've been having this, like, weird anxiety about an earthquake coming to LA. Like, a really bad one. But I've been having this paranoia about an earthquake coming. And whenever I park in a parking garage, I'm like, oh my god, what if an earthquake comes and I can't get out? Like, this is what I'm thinking about all the time. This is why I'm on anxiety meds. Okay, let me return my shit. So I return my stuff. I'm grabbing some coffee right now because a girl needs a little pick-me-up. I'm grabbing Starbucks, which I actually haven't had Starbucks in, like, months. Genuinely months. I don't get Starbucks just because there's tons of other local small places in LA that are like a thousand times better. At my mom's work, they always give her Starbucks gift cards and she doesn't drink coffee, she doesn't drink Starbucks, so she always sends me the numbers and I just load it onto my app. And I have so much money on my Starbucks app that I need to spend it. So I thought, why not just go to Starbucks? There's one right by my house. I'll just go through the little drop through and get a little skiddly do. This Starbucks line is so freaking long. Why is everyone here at Starbucks? Don't you know? I'm coming. Pretty sure like I'm running over the curb right now, but whatever. Still sitting in line, by the way. I feel like I've been sitting here for ages. I'm on freaking Instagram. Whenever I go anywhere, it depends what I'm in the mood for. Recently, I've just been getting hot oat milk cappuccinos. If I get ice, I just get a red eye or a cold brew. Don't get lattes that often anymore, which that's all I used to drink is just a iced oat milk latte, plain, no sugar, nothing. And now even that's just too milky for me. I'm not saying that I'm cooler than all of you that drink lattes, but I kind of am. Literally posting my Instagram super quickly and see if anyone says. Okay, I posted my story. Let's hope some people give some good answers. Oh my god, no one said anything yet. Like, if you see my story, send me a freaking reply. You 150 people. I saw you see it. Fuck, I'm stressed. So stressed. Like, stress isn't even there. Frappuccino. Really? That's what you're gonna recommend? A frappuccino? <sighs> been two minutes come on people respond 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 I'm so stressed I'm so stressed I'm so stressed you're out of 300 people one person answered 
my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Can I just do a grande ice cold brew with a splash of soy milk? Oh look, now I get all these things. Ice topio espresso in a grande cup with three pump white Oh, that sounds so sweet. Sorry if you recommended that, but like, I don't like sweet stuff. They did a little heavy on the soy, not gonna lie. I said a splash of soy, not a whole cup of soy. <laughs> Let's see how it is. I actually haven't had Starbucks cold brew in a long time. Oh, it's all right. So I'm getting steamed crabs sent to me. They like overnight them from Maryland. The place that's sending it to me is called Harbor House. And I have been tracking where the heck they are because they're coming today. And just all day I've been tracking where they are because I'm like, I want my steamed crabs. If you don't know, like it's an East Coast. It's more of like definitely a Maryland thing, like with the Old Bay and they're just so freaking good and messy. I just absolutely crave them because I haven't been home yet this summer and the only place to get them is literally like Maryland, Virginia, and Pennsylvania. Mostly Maryland. I was gonna have those for like a lunch slash early dinner because steamed crabs aren't super filling. I'm having some of my dairy-free buffalo chicken dip. And also I know I'm like eating crabs and have buffalo chicken dip and I know I try to eat vegan as much as possible. I sometimes treat myself to things. I feel like me cutting back already so much on the meats and fish and shellfish, anything found in the ocean, I don't really eat from day to day. 91 degrees today in LA. It's one of the hottest days we've had in a very long time. Though, as you can tell, I got the AC bumping up in here, got the blinds closed. It's not too hot, the apartment. That's thing, it's not hot in here, but it's just so hot outside that I can't function. Okay, y'all. Last time I filmed at two o'clock and I was like waiting for the crabs to come. I'm tracking them. Now it's 6 17 and they're still not here. I clicked the FedEx thing on my phone and it says potentially delayed. Like it can't be potentially delayed. It's next day shipping and it's food. I'm sitting here depressed that I may not have my crabs today and also depressed that what if they go bad and I can't even have them tomorrow when they get here. I don't know why I'm lifting my leg up like this. Honestly, I hope my crabs come or like I hope I get the motivation to get out of bed. So I took off my makeup and everything But remember when I was like, oh my god, the crabs aren't here yet guys. They effing came Okay, they sent me the whole dealio. I got the paper the mouths. They sent me a little cookbook Here's the crabs um, they're steamed. I'm just warming them up in a steamer really quick and then melting my butter and I am so freaking pumped You don't even know. I'm so happy to have a little taste of home here since I wasn't able to make it home Oh god, like your girl's about to go ham. So I actually had a whole entire different plan for this video I was gonna talk about my hair looks like shit But anyways, I had a whole different plan for this video like what I was gonna talk about and the main point of it And then I realized yesterday when filming Today is Friday the 13th and you know what that means you get a tattoo So I hit up this dude and I'm gonna go get a tattoo right now I want to get this basically the same exact thing on the opposite side of my back and a little bit smaller I wanted a thing because the only thing I have is I have a smiley face on my butt yeah, I don't know my friend Lily did it and we were on a road trip I thought why not but that's the only thing I have so I thought I would get a thing like an object professionally done Friday the 13th tats Let's freaking go. I'll talk about Friday the 13th. I just whacked my mirror on this pole. First off, the parking spot's super tight. Like, let me show y'all. This parking, parking spot is so tight, right? And I whacked it. I told my boyfriend already, he was like, it's destined to happen. But like, what the fuck? Like really? Today is just not my day. Anyways, I just got my tattoo. So when I walk inside, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I got the tattoo on my back. So this is going to be kind of difficult to show you guys without flashing the camera. But we're going to attempt to do it. Okay, so I got a cheetah because actually it has no meaning. I just saw someone that had it on Pinterest and it looked super cool. So I thought, why not? I get it. Okay, let me show you guys. It's still red and it has um, a bandage on it for the next three to five days. So if you see a square around it, literally just got it like less than 30 minutes ago. So it's going to be red. That's the new tattoo. It's super cool. The guy did a really good job. I'll leave his Instagram link down below. He was awesome. Yeah, Friday the 13th tattoo. Woo! Oh, I just got my car. Freaking broke it. I mean, it's Friday the 13th. What do you expect? Um, not really expecting much on my end. I'm happy the tattoo turned out good. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know a lot just happened in this last moment. Next video actually is a really exciting video, kind of like a girl talk video, which I'm really excited about. I'm filming it tomorrow, so it'll probably be up either Monday or Tuesday. So make sure you guys keep a lookout. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you don't miss it. See you guys in my next one. Bye.